Good day girls. Welcome. I'm Madhununa. Today we are learning module 1. Welcome on the topic My Family. Let's begin. Before we proceed with our lesson, please get ready with your kids mark plus 3 and turn to page 11. I hope at the end of this lesson, you will be able to write about one's family. Use capital letter and full stop and to revise sentence structures and vocabulary in our previous lessons. We will revise on the use of has and have, or hasn't and haven't, and also the use of can and can't. Do you remember? What is the meaning of have and has? Yes, that's true. Have and has mean something that you own and possessed, whereas haven't and hasn't mean something that you didn't own. For example, I have got blue eyes and I haven't got curly hair. Can means something that you are able to do and can't means that you are not capable of doing something. For example, I can ride a bike but I can't dive. Now listen to the audio. My family My name is Faye. This is my family. My dad has got brown eyes and brown hair. He can play football and he can dive too. My mum has got long brown hair. She can sing and dance. My brother, Jim, is six years old. His favourite sport is basketball. We have got a big dog. His name is Sparky and he's great. There are a few key phrases that you should know. We are going to build sentences using the key phrases in describing our family with My name is My dad has got He can My mom has got She can My brother or sister Here is an example for you to write a paragraph about your family using the key phrases The words in black are the key phrases. Meanwhile, the words in red are the information about your family. Let's read together. My name is Faye. My dad has got brown eyes. He can play football and dive. My mother has got curly hair. She can sing and dance. Now we are looking at another example on how to use the key phrases. Let's read the paragraph together. My name is Mila. My dad has got brown eyes and curly hair. He can play tennis and he loves cycling. My mother has got straight and blonde hair. She can cook very well. I have got a brother and a sister, Robin and Susie. We have got a dog. 
His name is Dory. We love our pet. In a paragraph, there are use of capital letter and full stop. What are they? Capital letter is used when we want to begin a sentence or when we want to write a proper noun. Meanwhile, full stop is used at the end of a sentence, usually when there is nothing to write more. Now, look at the example. My name is Mila. We use capital letter M for my when we want to start writing and capital letter M for Mila because Mila is a proper noun. Now, look at another example. I have got a brother and a sister. Robin and Susie. We use capital letter I to start our writing and capital letter R for Robin and S for Susie because Robin and Susie are proper nouns. After finish with the sentences, we must put Full stop at the end of the sentence. For example, I have got a brother, a sister, Robin and Susie. Full stop. We have got a dog. Full stop. His name is Dory. Full stop. We love our pet. Full stop. Now look at the Venn diagram. Write words about how you and your mother alike in the middle of the diagram. And also write about the difference between you and your mother. After you have finished, please write a paragraph describing the similarities and differences of you and your mother. Okay girls, if you have any problems about the lesson, do not hesitate to contact me and ask for help. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.